So the VMix 25 Beta just got released. I'm gonna install it on our production PC right now, even though we have a live stream tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, you're never supposed to install beta software on your production PC. Let's go to my home studio and test this in a safer environment. I think it might be safer to do this video from my home studio. So the big game-changing feature in vMix 25 is Live LAN. This gives you the ability to live stream on your local area network to hundreds of viewers using a regular web browser. The web browser just has to support HTML5, which is very standard. vMix is using HLS to handle the streaming, which is very efficient. And most computers and networks can easily handle up to 100 simultaneous streams. But let's test it. All right, step one, get the beta. The beta is available on the forums. It was posted by Martin Sinclair 21 days ago. Okay, well, my smartphone is obviously a good device to test this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the IP address and port number of the vMix web controller. The web controller IP address is essentially your computer's IP address with a custom port that sends traffic directly to vMix that's hosted on your vMix computer. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to start streaming with vMix because this is an HLS stream. And I'm gonna go ahead and start streaming. I'm gonna open up my web controller settings and just check the IP address, check the port. And keep in mind that vMix does recommend that you put a password on the web controller, because that does allow you to control vMix from anywhere with on your local area network with a web browser. So if you're gonna allow hundreds of people to access this, you would want to exclude the live LAN area from the pages that are locked with a password. So I've done that, and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, and there is a new live LAN button. So I'll click that. I see a little play button here. So I'll go ahead and take a look. There we are. So the latency from what I understand is roughly 10 seconds. Now the next thing I wanna learn about is the amount of bandwidth that's being sent over my local area network. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go into vMix and I'm gonna go ahead and start my stream. It's a 3.5 megabit per second stream, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the stream. So now the stream is going, and essentially I'll be able to pick it up in this live LAN category within about 10 seconds. I'll be able to pick up this live LAN. The other thing I'm doing is I'm monitoring my ethernet connectivity on Task Manager, and what you see is that once I connect to the live LAN, basically it sends bandwidth in chunks. So what happens is, is it allow, it's basically jumping up and down. We're seeing it kind of go up and down as it sends chunks of information. That's the way that HLS works. And it allows you to really optimize and maximize the amount of people that you can send video to because you're not sending it all at once the way Way you would be perhaps with NDI, like a big connection. This is sending it in chunks and goes up and down, so we're seeing little spikes there. Still, you know, we're seeing the most bandwidth being sent with one connection at about 10 megabits per second, roughly. So just to give you an idea, 10 to 15 per viewer when you're doing a three megabit per second 720p stream. All right, so that's pretty good. What else do you have for us, vMix? Well, there's NDI 5.0 support. That includes a host of new improvements for those of us using NDI. In fact, I gotta take a new look at the NDI 5.0 tools because I saw webcam input, the virtual camera output for NDI, and it's all new and it looks amazing and I expect a new video on that coming soon. vMix also announced up to 16 categories 
These are color-coded folders where you can categorize all your inputs. I know our producer Mike's gonna like that. We have a live stream tomorrow! <laughs> We also have new keyframe frequency support for SRT. We have um, the big thing that I think a lot of people are gonna like is the ability to do preset bundles. Essentially, vMix presets are all of your inputs, your images, your graphics, your cameras, all organized into one little file that you can load up when it's time for your show. If you're anything like the Stream Geeks, we've got multiple shows that we build and we call them up when we need them. These preset bundles allow you to also bundle all of the assets that are used in your vMix preset into one file. So this is big for video producers because if you want to create an entire vmix preset for one of your customers or for an event that maybe you're not using your at-home computer for you can bundle it all together and send it over Dropbox or the internet and receive it at the far end so I could see myself using this a lot um, there have been some bugs reported in the forum so I think there's a little bit of some issues to work out so make sure you try that out uh, before your big show time but those are the main highlights there's also a long list of stuff here, but I wanted to mention that if anybody is interested in learning more about vMix, oh yeah, before I go, I just want to tell you guys, I am going to be updating the unofficial guide to vMix. It's still available for free at the link below. Give me a couple weeks. By the time most people are seeing this, this book will be updated to include the new live land features. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know how you're using vMix in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. All right, bye.